This is um, an invigorating event. More than 100 people here, so congratulations to the organisers for achieving that. Uh, I would expect that somebody will leave here today feeling very positive about their volunteering work, whether that's personally as a volunteer, or whether they organise volunteers, whether they recruit and train volunteers. At that level, I think it, it should be an inspiring event, and so far, I think uh, that's what I would say is going on. More in terms of the detail, I hope that um, what I was able to do was give people some of the key issues they need to think about. You know, should we as charities cooperate with a government program um, which is requiring young unemployed people mm. to work in charities as a condition of receiving benefit? Should we uh, recruit volunteers to take over public services which are being run down? So for example, the library service. Is it right that volunteers come forward to keep libraries open when uh, professional librarians are being made redundant. These are really difficult testing issues for people and I hope that today gives them some guidelines, some framework to be able to make decisions when they go back to their own organisations. So we've been really delighted by the response uh, today. We've got over 110 people along, which is fantastic, and that's pretty much our target audience. Um, and people have come from right across the whole of uh, Greater Lincolnshire, so from North and North East, as well as um, the other parts of the uh, County Council District of Lincolnshire. So it's been brilliant to see so many here. There's also been a lot of debate, um, so this is what we hope that the keynote speakers, um, Kevin Curley and Rob Jackson, have really initiated that debate today. Um, there's been some good opportunities to learn about innovation across the county, particularly in terms of the speed dating event, where people have just had a very short period of time just to be able to sell on um, some good ideas and some projects that they're involved in. Um, and also the breakout sessions have been really well subscribed, so um, we've got those running both morning and afternoon, yeah. and we've allowed plenty of time over that lunchtime for networking and catching up with exhibitors who've got some fantastic things to, um, to show here. We're really grateful to West Lindsay District Council and Anglia Water for the input that they've had to the event, particularly in terms of sponsorship and venue. And we really hope that this is a legacy, um, so that next year we can look at having a similar event with maybe even more delegates coming along. Um, it would be really exciting. We've been so proud to be part of this very first event and we hope this is something that's going to continue across Greater Lincolnshire.